All right, we're back. We're still on page seven of notes 11. 11? Yeah, only 11. On notes 11 of uh, Calc C, and we're talking about integrating powers of trig functions. They're a little weird. Uh, sometimes you got to know all your identities. You got to be really comfortable working with derivatives and antiderivatives of trig functions. But if you know those things, you'll be fine. Um, now what we're going to do is look at something slightly different. So we want to deal with like what happens if you have different arguments, 3x and 4x, or like 4x and 8x. So we need a way to deal with that. Turns out that the 14 formulas that you learn uh, in like pre-calc and math analysis help you out a lot. So here's what we're going to do. Add the sum and difference formulas for cosine to get a formula. Okay, so uh, I need cosine of a plus b. Yeah, I need a marker. Cosine of a plus b is cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b. All right, we knew that. Cosine of a minus b is cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b. So if I add those together, I'm going to get cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b is equal to 2 cosine a cosine b, which means cosine a cosine a cosine b is equal to 1 half of cosine of a plus b. I can never remember these formulas, so I just derive them every time I need them. Um, and I just like always think to myself like, oh, different arguments. Like I gotta like do something with the sum and difference formulas. So this formula that we just got here is gonna help us to integrate this. So let's see if we can do that. So, and I, I like need the formula. So it's gonna be, this should be equal to, according to the formula, so it's cosine of a, so a is 4x and b is 8x. So I need to add them. So it'll be 1 half and then cosine of add them to get 12x plus cosine of subtract them. You get minus 4x, but cosine is even. So I'm just going to say cosine of 4x um, and then dx. So that's what we need to do. So let's, let's integrate that. Let me move it. Now that I've used, oh man, sometimes you just pick up things you didn't mean. Okay, so integral, so 1 half and then 1 12th is 1 24th sine of 12x, and then 1 half and 1 4th is 1 8th sine of 4x plus c. So if you know the formulas, these aren't bad problems. If you don't know the formulas, you're going to stumble around for like quite some time. Um, so we could go in the other direction. So like I added them on the first one. I'm going to, I'm going to subtract them this time. So what I'm going to do to subtract them though, is I'm going to actually like rearrange them. This is like a jerk move. If I'm, if, if you're trying to follow along with with your, uh, on your paper and pencil there, you know, doing it old school. I'm going to subtract these and get cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b. So I'm doing it this way so that the minus, like I'm doing a positive minus a negative. So you get positive, what am I doing? Uh, you get positive two sine a sine b. So sine a sine b. So we know that sine a sine b is going to be one half. I'm going to like copy paste just to speed things along. I like to, every once in a while, I like to save you about 10 seconds. So, because I value your time that much. So this is the formula that we would use in the event that we had to integrate this, but we don't have to integrate that. That's not one of the problems. I mean, maybe it will be later in the notes. Um, this has sines and cosines, but different arguments. So to me, that means some and different formulas for sine. So let's see what that gives us. So sine of a plus b is sine cosine plus cosine sine. 
and then sine of a minus b is sine cosine minus cosine sine oh my gosh okay so when we add these together we get sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b equals 2 sine a cosine b and so we're like almost there cosine of a what i don't even know so it's what am i doing i got it i got it sine of a cosine of b equals one half of sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b Whoo! okay third color because it's the third formula so this formula is going to let us do this remaining integral these are like really cool this is like when you know how to do this and other people don't know how to do this they're like what is he even doing um so so yeah, it's a good technique to know. So a is 3x and b is 4x. So I add them, it's gonna be the sine of add them, 7x, and then subtract them, you get negative x, 3x minus 4x is negative x, but sine is odd, so I'm gonna make it minus sine of x, dx. And then you also have to integrate, so it's not, it's not over yet. 1 half, 1 seventh, so negative, 1 14th cosine. Remember, if you end up with a co-function, you pick up a negative factor. So 1 half of oh, this just plus 1 half cosine. I was all ready to do something. All right. There we go. Uh, I guess I will highlight this so that you can more easily find it, I don't know, later on or something. That's it. Just like weird, weird things, right? So trig functions, they have so many relationships to each other and so many formulas involved that like any, anything you see, like think back to when you learned all those 14 formulas and like, how can you add them together, subtract them, do something with them, fundamental identities, like tons of stuff. All right. I think that like the rest of these are kind of review. I'm going to do them, not in this video, uh, but like it's, it's different, right? So I'll be back in the next video and I will start these problems uh, and I will see you there.